What's up, Blackish fam? I hope all is well in your corner of the world. Uh, it's a start to a new week, and uh, we're going to continue going through uh, some of the most lyrically dense artists uh, in the industry right now. Uh, we love to dissect the bars, but we love going over artists that are promoting positive change, right? They're uh, highlighting things that are going on in the community, but they're also highlighting ways that we should live our life, right? It's not just uh, talking about murder and guns and bitches and hoes, right? But we, we want to talk about something that with purpose uh, and ways, things that we should be doing different and leading by example. And, yo, Toby Wigway uh, is an awesome reflection of that. Uh, just everything that he stands for, everything he represents. I think the one line that kind of summarizes it for me is in Fi Fi, where he says, uh, if you book me for a show and I can't bring my wife or my babies, I'm leaving. After that, I was like, yo, this cat is real. That's about as real as it gets. Uh, so, yo, without further ado, I want to check out, uh, this is one called Hella Black. Uh, it's from The New Respects. And uh, I've been making my way through his catalog, and uh, I found a playlist called Four Originals. Uh, and I'm like, yo, I didn't, I, I haven't went through this. And, uh, yo, the music's dope. Uh, we've already done one or two of the tracks. Uh, this is Hella Black featuring The New Respects. Let's check it out together. Black, black, black. What is he sitting on? It almost looks like uh, a carousel and a, a, a an art easel, right? Where you have all the crayons and all the markers, and you can spin it around. Uh, yo, run it back. Black, black, black. So it sounds like he's singing about being black and what, how he, uh, you know, his uh, physical attributes, if you would. You know, I'm kind of, I'm glad he's doing this too, because, uh, yo, let's be real. There's a lot of hate uh, in the black community. And sometimes it's it's what's called colorism, right? Now, because someone's not as black as you or blacker than you, you feel that you're not equally black. Like you both don't uh, suffer. Like the world doesn't look at you the same way. And it's like, bro, uh, if you're just an ounce black, <laughs> right? If if you have to deal with the struggle of being black and the discrimination and the disproportionate disproportionate uh, the brutality and the cycle of poverty and all these things that come with being black, yo, yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we look better than most, right? Yeah, we got crazy style and we're definitely unique. Um, but yo, uh, we come in different shades, right? And I love that he's showcasing that. Like, look at the girl he's with, right? She's whiter than I am. Uh, a lot of us, it's important to know, a lot of us have been de deluded and a lot of it wasn't our choosing, right? Uh, either our ancestors were raped and then our descendants uh, have light skin or what we call red bones, right? Um, but there's also some of us that have been mixed with other, uh, like for instance, my mom is black, uh, but my dad was Mexican. That doesn't make me any less black than you, right? Well, I mean, technically it does, but... Um, you know, I still identify as black. I didn't even know my dad, right? I don't, I mean, I knew who he was, uh, but he was a heroin addict, uh, right? He sold drugs, uh, he di died. I don't, I didn't really have that sort of relationship that I identify as black and she might as well, right? And uh, I think it's important to realize uh, we, we're not so quick to judge uh, when someone's, uh, you know, like uh, I think Drake said it really well when uh, he was, uh, in one of his songs, he said, uh, it's funny because when I was young, I was too black, right? You might ask, too black for what? Well, you know, he's an uh, an artist, right? He was an actor. So he might have been too black for certain roles or too black for this. But he said, it's funny because I'm in hip hop and I'm not black enough, right? Uh, like there's a lot of colorism, a lot of games people play. Like, boy, stop acting light skin. <laughs> in this technical, run it back. My hair is kinky. My nose is white. My skin is technical. When you say aura, right? When you say there's an aura around someone, it's like uh, a radiant energy that some people claim that they're able to see, right? And you say peep my aura. Now look at look at what 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 do you see when I walk into a room, right? A lot of people see they when they say, man, that person came in with so much energy, and man, there's a glow about you. Now that's what they're referring to when they say aura. Peep my aura. You love to go before you touch my shine just now. 
exactly what we were saying, right? Uh, black comes in different shades. Just because someone looks different or rocks a different style than you, like I, I hate when I hear uh, people talking about like Tyler, the creator. Boy, that's not black. That boy wears vans and tight jeans. Like who the hell are you to define what black is, right? And look at them, they're all different shades. And that's how the world is, right? We're starting to become more of a melting pot. And who's really authentic um, all black or all white or all Spanish that, you know, especially when you come to the U.S. and you start mixing in with other people, like my mom's family identifies mainly as black. Uh, but now that I'm mixed with Mexican, my kids are deluded, right? I'm also married to a Puerto Rican woman. So now if, if we ever did have kids, um, you know, those kids will be mixed with something else. I still want them to know uh, who they are, where they came from, and the support the movement, right? I think it's so important as we start becoming all sorts of mixtures that we're all going to eventually end up olive anyway, right? Uh, but it's so important that we don't hate on each other. There's enough hate going on in the world. We have to experience enough hate when we go out there and have to be black and do regular stuff. Let's not hate on each other simply because we're diff another shade as you. It's your fault if you're offended, right? I'm not going to apologize for being black. I'm not going to apologize uh, for my hair looking different than yours. I'm not going to apologize for you being uncomfortable uh, because it's something you can't understand, uh, right? It's just uh, you need to understand there's people in the world that aren't like you. And we're all different shades. And come on, let's be real. Uh, we're some sick-ass people, right? We got mad style. Uh, we got mad uh, intelligence. Um, there's a lot of creativity that comes with being black. So, yo, don't be ashamed to be black. Uh, uh, it's one of the best things that could have happened to you because you're different and you're you're tough around the edges and uh, the world will unfortunately make you that way, um, but you're stronger because of it. Yeah, like he said, yo, my baby mother, she's cinnamon, right? Her color is different. Uh, they get that red bone, right? That reddish, that reddish uh, blonde glow. Uh, and sometimes they can have the appearance of looking white, especially depending on how their hair is. And you no, know, it doesn't mean that she's any less black, right? Yo, I like here. He's got, he's straight dressed. Look at the, woo! Look at the, you got the whole coming to America going on, bro. That's sick. Blacker than licorice. Harder, other, another brother with him and chip. Smooth as butter, my lady, love it, it's cinnamon. From the gutter, my baby mother, my venison. What that mean, my dear, like the dinner, singing, man, be candy. Venison is another form of uh, saying deer, right? And he's tying it together by saying Bambi. Uh, those that don't know Bambi, Bambi was uh, her mom. Uh, she's a deer in an old Disney film. I believe her mom dies really early in the film, and Bambi has to find her way through the world. Mother is cinnamon. From the gutter, my baby mother, my venison. What that mean, my dear? Like the dinner, singing, man, be can we get up? It's, a, it's important. We'll run it back here, but I wanted to catch the name. He dropped the name Jadena. Uh, Jadena, that's a, uh, he's an artist, right? I think he's under Janelle Monae's, uh, uh, record label, uh, but he has a song called Bambi. Uh, and if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, he has a Nigerian background, but the dude looks, uh, it looks kind of albino white. He's got that pinkish white look, um, but he's black, right? Um, you might not consider him black, but uh, I believe the dude is mixed uh, and his dad was black, something about that before he came to the U.S., but uh, that's his name, Jadena. Uh, and yeah, he has a song called Bambi. Definitely worth checking out. And what that mean, my dear, like the dinner singing, man, we can we get up in the color on the man, we hell as the greatest not to ever trip the land or a CV, cause it don't make our vision a little more brandy. Oh. Yo, he's talking about uh, Jesus being black, right? 
he said, uh, can we get a more a little bit more color uh, to the per person that we consider the greatest man that ever lived? Um, and yo, if you're, uh, you know, if you're uh, somewhat of a, uh, uh, if you've ever studied religion or studied Jesus and you know where, uh, supposedly where he came from, um, these weren't white men, right? These weren't, uh, these were brown uh, people of color. Now think about somebody in, uh, in Saudi Arabia or Iraq, right? Or, um, you know, they, they have a, a yellowish brown to them. They're brown people. Um, and he's saying, yo, if, if, if we saw Jesus as possibly a person of color, then maybe the world would look at people of color a bit differently because uh, they might actually feel closer to God. Amen. From the God of my baby mother, my venison, what that mean? My dear, like the dinner singing, man, we can we get a bit of color on the man? We hell as the greatest man to ever trade the land or a sea because it don't make our vision a little more brandy. Most so don't know why Coco skin broke, drip don't get popo. In places with more books than added to combo. Yo, look at uh, that's uh, hold on, look at that because look, it looks like he's acknowledge, uh, acknowledging uh, Giannis. Uh, I can't ever say his last name, but. Uh, these cats, uh, you know, it's a Greek last name, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but also, I believe that Giannis is also part Nigerian, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but he said Mo Bucks, right? Um, he, he played with the Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, so let, let's run that back a bit. Plus, it don't make our vision a little more brandy. Also, don't know why Coco skin broke, drip don't get popo. In places with more books than added to combo. But if you don't know, it ain't my style. It ain't my shame. It ain't what I do. Yo, oh, tell me that's not beautiful, right? Uh, tell me that it's not beautiful to see black women of color. Uh, not just the style, but the curves, the look, the hair. You know, there's just something beautiful about being black, right? see this right because uh, I, I feel like some people even black people it's it, it's like we're scared to say that we're black right and it's like no uh, it, it's even more important for us that are deluded because people tend to get loose with their words around us right I have Mexican friends I was uh, I have Puerto Rican friends in fact the neighborhood that I grew up in it was a humble park uh, a community uh, in Chicago in the inner city when I was young it's a predominantly uh, Puerto Rican neighborhood. That's actually where I met my wife. We went to grammar school together and she knew my sister. Um, but it's so important because I'll, I'll be around people of color, but not black. Uh, and they just tend to tend to get a little loose. They use little, they say little things like, um, man, I'm working hard like a slave. And I just get, it's like, it's cool, but you got to check them sometimes because they just they let, it, let it slip a little too much. And it's like, you got to tell them like, bro, I'm black. And they'd be like, yeah, but you're not black, black. And I'm just like, boy, you better get out of here with that bullshit, right? Mess around, fuck around and find out. I'll show you how black I am. Get athletic as I'm whooping that ass, right? <laughs> but, yo, know, a lot of people have these preconceived notions, right? These stereotypes of what being black means. And, uh, yo, know, and it's the same with, like, even with hip-hop and things like that. And it's like, yo, not all hip-hop is bald fades and black tims, right? Some of us that are students of hip hop and love hip hop inside and out, we don't rock logos. We don't wear mics. We don't wear, we don't move that way, right? It doesn't mean that we're any less authentic than you are, right? And I think that's important to realize in hip hop, uh, in being black and being anything, like stop trying to tell people what they are and trying to put them in a box. Man, if you're a fan of good music and music like this that brings 
something positive to our community, man, we're really trying to grow our channel. We're just uh, right at over 400 subscribers now. Now we've done a lot of Toby work, well over 50 videos. So, now, yo, I'm a fan. I, I plan on continuing to go through his catalog. If you're a fan of Toby as well and you like the intellectual breakdown uh, and just diving deeper into his lyrics and what they really mean, man, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. Black, black, black. Black, black, black. Look at me, I look black, black and white black, in the mix, black, right? It has a very um, cross-color vibe. I don't know if uh, any of you are older as I am. Uh, I was born in 1982. Uh, in the 90s, uh, we enjoyed uh, rocking something called Cross Colors. Uh, it was something that's kind of more of an urban brand with different colors that looked very similar to this. Uh, different patterns, uh, just, it was different. It was something for us. Uh, I don't want to say for us, by us, because that's FUBU, but, uh, just shout out, I know uh, Toby has a degree in merchandising and fashion, uh, and I hear that he creates a lot of the outfits. I wonder uh, how that carries over with something like this, where uh, there's multiple people involved. Does he still have that uh, creative influence? I'm uh, just so curious about this group. Like, I would love to be a fly on the wall when they're discussing new projects, and uh, it just seems like a, an awesome team to be a part of, man. <laughs> I love too how they show that you can be successful in rap by creating your own lane, right? Like who is doing anything like this? Uh, and this is beautiful, but it's also good music, right? There's also, it's also good rapping. It's not rapping. It's not good for conscious music. It's just good music. And it shows that you don't need half naked women uh, and talking about wop, 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 wop. There's a time and a place for it, but uh, it's just uh, creating another lane. Uh, and I think this is going to be good for hip hop in general. Yeah, that's sick. That was well worth uh, checking out. I'm going to continue going down the For Originals playlist. But yo, if you're a fan, man, make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, anything new that comes out from Toby. Uh, we're all over it, right? We're on top of it. I'm a fan, and uh, I look forward to, to going through his catalog.